Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the van that I am sitting next to, I'm at base camp. And so I decided it's time for me to give you guys a little bit of an update. Now, about a month ago, my parents purchased this big guy right here. It's huge. It's large and in charge to say the least. Now they had no more than purchased this and then I had to hit the road to go off to the gutted premiere. But I told you guys I would circle back whenever I could to show you the progress. Now, for many of you who are very interested in seeing what's going to go into uh, this guy right here, my dad is going to be creating a channel so he can show you more of the process in a little bit more depth. But today, we're going to be doing an update. Now, this might not be the kind of update that you were expecting, though. I'm going to show you kind of what's going on on another video. But today, I'm super excited to share with you this huge thing that's going to be going into the van. Now, of course, many of you have been following my personal journey in my tiny little van. And you notice that I have a variety of different things. But when you move into a larger space, some things can change. In fact, with larger space, you can have larger items that help you with more things. And so today I'm going to be showing you guys one of those. So looking at the van right here, what do you think it is? Well, you probably already read the title of this video and you know I'm going to be showing you the fridge that my parents will be using. I'm super excited about this one and we're going to do it as a full on unboxing. Now, just to kind of give you an idea of the difference in space. This will be super handy for especially those of you who are new to the channel. This is my van. It's a 2020 NV200. It is a tiny little micro camper that I have a limited amount of room in. And so because of that, sometimes I can't always have the things that I want. In fact, in this van right here, I currently have a refrigerator set up. But oh, it would be so nice to have a freezer, especially during the the summer months because you know ice ice cream all sorts of other cool things well guess what my parents they have enough room so since they do today we're going to be unboxing a set power dual zone refrigerator freezer that will be going into this space now you're probably asking yourself but why are you showing this on your channel it's because a lot of you have asked me about an option that's similar to this and i want to show you the size and also the footprint that it would take up i know not everyone has a tiny little van like i do some of you guys have a the big boy or even a schoolie and so you want something that's going to be able to hold a few more things so that's what we're doing today okay without further ado inside oh there it is oh yeah this is gonna be super fun i'm still learning how to use my parents van though this is like a foreign concept with something so big and i think you can see from this also a few of the small changes they've already been making but we'll get to those later okay i think you can see kind of where we're going with this it's big it's large it's in charge but this is the box so let's see how big the actual set power is now this is the tc75 model and it is a dual zone so you can use it as a freezer and a refrigerator or both refrigerators or both freezers you can kind of pick your adventure with this one that's awesome so one of the things that i did like about this one is it does have the deep freeze which goes all the way down to zero or negative 18 degrees Celsius. Also, it's going to have a multi-level battery voltage protection. That is huge right there, guys. I can't even explain how huge that really is. But let's look on some of the other parts of the box and kind of go through the specs before we cut into the top of this. I already have some scissors like right here. Okay, so here are some of the product specs. As you can see, it's going to be a DC 12 volt. It weighs approximately 22.2 kilograms or 48.9 pounds now i will say this picking up this box right here i didn't feel like it was super super heavy though it didn't feel like it weighed almost 50 pounds that is for sure but then we have some dimensions here so if you're looking to do a van build of any kind and you're looking for a larger fridge option the product dimensions are 34.6 by 18.9 by 18.2 so 
This right here, this box, says that it is approximately two inches larger in every direction. So it's not gonna be quite this big. Now, before we unbox this, Set Power is a brand that I personally have used. In fact, my first fridge that I ever used in my van was a Set Power. I loved it, it was wonderful, and it functioned so well. It pulled a very minimal amount of my power off my power stations, so of course, I was like leaning toward this one for my parents because I know it's quality. So I'm just gonna start off by saying that, but now it's time. Oh, it's time, I'm super excited. Let's open the box. We're by the road, so it's a little noisy. So just uh, pardon the progress, guys, but we're gonna snap into this real quick, just with some scissors. And then we're gonna have to turn it. Ooh. See, even turning it, it, it doesn't feel like it's 50 pounds. Uh, it's kind of wild that it, it doesn't. Because normally you see 50 pounds, it's just like, ugh. And I usually am like thinking, oh no, I can't do that. But, but this I totally could. So it, it, it doesn't feel like it's that heavy. But um, let's open this up now down the middle. Maybe. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah. Now, if you've watched my channel for very long, Unboxings and I, we have a love-hate relationship because, you know, sometimes you gotta be better than the box and sometimes, well, my hand strength just isn't what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to be uh, kind of maneuvering this very carefully and we may end up having to cut down the side of the box. But as we open it, you see that it is super protected. It has this really nice, thick, like styrofoam to keep it intact. And let me tell you, this thing came quickly after it was sent out. So this protected it. The box itself, as you can see, was not damaged. And it is marked very clearly for the delivery service to handle with care and this side is supposed to be up. So now that we have gotten in here, oh, oh guys, oh, this thing is, Pretty, oh, this is really pretty. Okay, as you can see, this is kind of the material that it's made out of. This is very similar to the one that I was using. It has this nice durability to it. This stuff doesn't get scratched up and scuffed near as much as some of the metal ones do. And I like that this is like a two-tone. Now, is this gonna be the color scheme of my parents' uh, vehicle? I have no idea, but I really, really like this. Now, we're gonna have to dive a little bit deeper into this box to see how we can get it out fully, but look at this this is awesome and it looks like this end over here this is where our temperature control is so so cool now i'm sure for watching my channel for a longer amount of time some of you already know i get super excited when it comes to new stuff for my van but i am equally as excited about this for my parents van because this is going to afford them a lot of adventures where they don't necessarily always have to be close to a community the good thing about getting a refrigerator like this is you can keep more things so that you can stay out longer so whenever you're out on the road you can just go to the grocery store pack up go out into the back country enjoy yourself and as long as you have power to uh, serve it up you can have some delicious home-cooked meals on the road and not always be at the mercy of just what's fresh at that moment and then only getting one or two things at the grocery store so I'm so excited guys but let's keep going now the question is how Oh, 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 it lifts. After we clip the things, it lifts. Oh, even better. And because there's all this room, it can just go back in there. That would never happen in my van. It was just, but look. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this thing is so nice. And this is the end that has the compressor on this side over here. This is the side that's just gonna be fun, fun, fun. Let's open it up and uh, get it out of this bottom box also. And as we are, oh my goodness, again, you can just see the packaging. They've really put a lot of work into this. They have a corner piece here that keeps it from getting crunched on the corner near the compressor. So that is a huge bonus also, especially considering that, you know, sometimes as much as we want things to come in like their perfect form, uh, things happen in shipment. But they have secured this box enough where no damage could be done, so that is amazing. Okay, I dropped it on my way <laughs> to uh, moving it, but these are the corners that I was just talking about. These are a very, very sturdy plastic. So again, they were protecting the compressor end. So that is a huge, huge packaging pro 
for set power if you're looking to do something like this guy right here. So uh, yeah, I, I really like these. Okay, so I went ahead and removed it from the box and we have the display end right here so that I can show you what that looks like a little bit closer. Again, I'm going to fully test this and do a full product review also so you guys can check out how much power it pulls, what all you can put in it, stuff like that very, very soon. I just wanna kinda plug it up to like my power station for a little while and uh, kinda see how it does and have a truthful and honest review with you guys after I put some work into it. To it. Now, is this mine? No, which means that it's going to sit in this cavernous space right here in the Texas heat. Now, the Texas heat is coming back. Today it is a chilly day because it is rainy, but by the end of the week it's going to be in the 90s. So this guy is going to sit here and we're going to see how much time it takes to fully drain the Jackery. I have a Jackery Explorer 1000 and that's what we're going to be testing it with. Now my dad hasn't yet determined if he's going to be using portable power or roof mounted power just yet. So I figured that the Jackery would at least give us an idea of how much draw that this bad boy is going to have. So with that said, Let's look at some of the little details that are going on with this thing. It's really, really cool. Okay, first off, let's talk about the handle itself. There's a handle like this on both ends. It's not very deep. It's just deep enough to get a good grip and pick up with it. This is going to be the heavier side, again, because it is the compressor end. But the other one that I had actually had attachments that were like out here and it made the handle where it would be removable. But I did notice that because of that, I typically wouldn't use the handle. I would prefer just something like this. So this is very nice. And again, nice and sturdy. It doesn't twist or bend. So this is just part of it. Okay, and now this is the compressor end. It has a nice little vent here so it doesn't get overly warm. It has the plug-in right here for the DC 12 volt. So all of this is on this side that also has the temperature control. All of it is on one end, which makes it very convenient. Now the reason that's super convenient is because you can plug it in and adjust everything, have everything on one side. So if you are wanting to put this in some kind of shelving unit or container or even on a drawer slide, everything is at the same spot as opposed to having a cord that runs over here the other thing is over here it just gets complicated whenever they try to split those up so I really like this okay here we have the display and again we have two separate zones so two separate displays and it shows you which zone that you are looking at adjusting by where the snowflake is positioned so that makes it super super handy and easy to know which one is which because otherwise that could get kind of confusing along the way for sure. Now this does have a max and an eco mode on here. So those are very similar to the other set powers. And I really enjoyed that because eco mode helps you save on your batteries. It also doesn't cycle on and off quite as much. Max is just going at it strong the entire time blasting. <laughs> but yeah, I really do like how this display is set up. It will make it very easy. The buttons are super simple to hold and push. It does have your settings thing here. So you can also lock it so that these don't get adjusted by accident, which in my book is a huge win. Okay guys, so now it is time to open up the doors and see what's behind door number one and door number two. We'll start off with door number one. It has this nice little pop up area and you can see that it just kind of pops up just slightly. This is going to be a nice deep, oh my goodness, this is so deep. Wow, I guarantee that if you're comparing the height of this, you could put a bottle of soda, like a two liter soda in here, standing upright with no problem. But let's go see the other one really quickly. Again, a nice little pop-up handle. There's all of our cool stuff and goodies to plug in with. And again, nice and deep on this side, slightly less deep here because you have the compressor, but wow, look at all that space. Now, something set power is pretty well known for is the fact that they have these bins that are removable. You can take them all the way out. This makes it super easy whenever you are packing your refrigerator freezer because you can just take this out, set it on the counter, fill it up, and then just slide it right back into place like that. Also, you'll notice that there's a little light right here. There's also one 
on this side. So you'll be able to see what's going on in your fridge, even if it's darker. And that can be handy because not every day do you want it to be bright and just blasting light while you're in your van. Some days you just want it to be kind of a chill time. Pull your little fridge out, open it up, and then boom, you can see what you're looking for a lot easier. If you wanted to set it up where the doors were on this side, you can also do that. You can flip these so that they can open from either direction. So if you're in your van and you need to set it up against this wall, for example, this would work. But if you needed to set it up against this wall and you needed your power to be on this side, you would want it to open up in this direction. So you can easily flip these and I love that. Something else that Set Power does that I really appreciate is they have this right here. This is just inside of this container compartment right here, but it has the different kinds of food or things that you might want to put inside the refrigerator freezer and the suggested temperatures. So you can set the temperatures in here to Fahrenheit or Celsius, and this is how you would do so for different kinds of things. Now, again, if you're wanting this to be a dedicated freezer, you could just set it all to zero and be good. But if you're wanting to have one side be a refrigerator, this is so handy. Okay, last but not least, let's go through this box right here. These are gonna be all the different cords. We'll open those up in just a second to look at them closer. But what is all of this? Oh my goodness, Set Power is really stepping it up a little notch here. It looks like they have included stickers in addition to their guide. Yeah, they have a user manual and then also some fun Set Power stickers. Those are so cute. I mean, if there is one thing that all of us nomads enjoy, it is a good sticker. And all of these have different aspects of Set Power and where you could use it. This is so cute. There's vans, there's boats, there's an RV. Oh my goodness, this is just awesome. Okay, so these are the cords that all come with it. And these are pretty standard. You have your cord that plugs directly into your refrigerator freezer. Then you you can plug it directly into your car or power station this way. But if you're wanting to use a more traditional wall plug, they do have one of those and it has a little converter that plugs into this brick right here and then into the little 12 volt right here. So this is a good way for you to charge it while you're going down the road, use a power station, plug it directly into your solar system. Depending on how you wanna set up your van itself, you can use this with pretty much any option. So all in all, this is gonna be a wonderful addition to my parents' van that we're currently standing in, but also as you guys are kind of looking around for your personal travel rigs, this might be an option for you as well. If you have a larger space and you want to have more things that you can take with you to keep you more remote for a longer time, you might like this one, like a lot. I can already tell you that I wish so many times, especially in the heat of summer, that I had some ice. And a lot of times, ice is only sold in like 10 pound bags, which are way too big for my refrigerator that I currently use. But in this guy down here, th this guy, yeah, yeah, 10 pounds could easily fit in there. So that is one huge whopping bonus. But at the same time, having a big guy like this guy right here could come in handy for a variety of other reasons. For example, you want to just pack in more food so that you can stay more remote. You like to eat a lot of fresh fruits and veggies. Well, guess what? You have tons of space for them. You want to be able to chill sodas or wine or taller drinks. Well, guess what? Again, and because you can have that dual zone, you could even have stuff like frozen pizza. What? It's wild the options that will be made available by this particular set power model. Now that I've unboxed it, I hope this is helpful for you guys seeing some options that are out there in the dual zone refrigerator freezers. Again, I will be doing a full review of this so you can see a little bit more about how much power consumption it uses and the practicality of being able to put different things inside very soon. But for now, I'm going to just like slide it over here to this area that I think my parents are going to have their kitchen so that when dad gets back, 
he can be surprised. Guys, this is gonna blow his mind that not only is it already in the van, but he can already play with the working parts and see what he thinks about it. And he'll probably be in on that little test also, because I know he's going to have some curiosity about selecting his power source. But yeah, guys, this thing, this thing, oh, this thing. This is, again, the TC75 by Set Power, and I'm really happy that you came along for this unboxing. Remember, guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time, and sometimes modern convenience such as refrigeration or freezing can really improve that good time. I can't imagine how I'd feel on a hot day if I had ice cream with this thing. I'm just saying. But today, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you have enjoyed coming along for this unboxing, make sure that you leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and let me know what you think about this one and how well you think it's going to work in the new adventure vehicle. I'll be doing a full update on some of the progress that Dad's been making very soon, and uh, look for that review. Till next time, guys. Bye!